Hey, it's Wild Blockchain Academics, and today we're going to be reviewing the Cold Card Hardware Wallet, the most secure Bitcoin wallet out there. I'm excited to review this. Let's go right to the unboxing. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to hit that notification button so you don't miss out on any cryptocurrency news, opportunities, or giveaways. Let's get right into it. This is the Uncle Jim Cold Card Bundle. It comes with two cold cards, two memory cards. It comes with a cold power, a seed plate, and a punch. You have the cord to connect your cold card wallet. And then I'm assuming this is the instructions that added the Open Dime wallets. They're like plug and go wallets. Um, so we're gonna test those out as well. This is the most secure Bitcoin wallet and it only holds Bitcoin, no other coins. So let's get right into opening it. You wanna make sure that you save the packaging because the number on front of the package, you will uh, verify that this is the right device when you turn it on. So you wanna make sure you save that. Let's see what we have. Um, in here you have the cold card device itself. You have some stickers. You have the wallet backup card, which we have the seed plate. So we're going to open up the seed plate as well. We have more stickers, awesome. So let's open up the seed plate, um, which I've actually, actually already opened. So this is the seed plate where you'll place your 24 words. You have 12 words on one side, 12 on the other side, and then you have the punch for it as well. So you can, you know, jab it jab your words in there. You have the, um, I'm assuming this is the instructions. I'm not sure what this is. So excited to open this up. Um, okay, I'm assuming these are seal proof bags. Yeah, they did come with seal proof bags. Oh, and you have more of them. And um, you have some uh, passphrase. Um, I guess these are recovery cards. Okay, re more recovery cards and more tamper-proof bags. So you know if anybody, you know, screwed around with your device and whatnot. So we'll put that on the side here. You have the cord, pretty basic. Um, we'll open that up as well. You can see that, oh, just dropped there. You can see that um, this comes separately as well. You actually have to plug it in. This is so secure. I'm actually very excited to test this out. You have the memory cards right here. We'll open up one of them. Uh, I'm gonna keep the other one closed because I only need one right now. So let's take a look at the memory card. If it wants to come out, awesome. What's the 128 megabytes? Okay, I thought it'd be like a gig or so, but you don't need that much data for, you know, signing transactions or whatnot. So we have the memory card there. And then these are the open dime wallets. These are like plug and go wallets. You just store some Bitcoin, you plug it in, the wallet will pop up and then you can actually spend the crypto as well. We have here the cold power by CoinKite. Um, excited to try all this, man. This is so intense. Like, uh, like I've tried all the other wallets on the market and this is intense. I'm super forward look to try this out. So we have the open dime wallets here as well, which I will show you. So that's unpackaging the uh, gym bundle from CoinKite by uh, Cold Card. Um, so let's get right into starting this device and getting some Bitcoin onto it. Hey, so we're gonna be booting up our Cold Card wallet. You're gonna be asked to start a pin. And just to give you a warning, make sure to read everything. Make sure to actually like take your time and set this up up because um, I wanted to set this up for myself and I wanted to set this up for YouTube and I quickly just d uh, did it. I tried to wipe this uh, by putting in the pin, you know, X amount of times incorrectly because with normal hardware wallets, I don't want to say normal, but with other hardware wallets, uh, it restores or wipes the device and this actually bricked the device. Uh, this is paperweight now. I got the first day paperweight. Uh, at least I have one for YouTube. So this is bricked. There is no way to restore a device. If you put in the pin 13 times wrong, it will brick the device. Everything on the device is gone. Your private keys that you wrote down are still good to go. You can restore the wallet from a another device, but that specific device 
is poop. So let's get into it. So me saying that I can't go into the initial uh, setup with you guys, which I wanted to do, you're going to be writing your 24 key words, and you're going to be writing your pin, and you get two words, and then the 24 private keys. So let me explain what that is. You're going to write your pin in a prefix. So let's say your pin is one, two, three, four, five, six. The prefix, you'll split that up in any way you want. So it could be one, two, and then you'll get your two words. So these are uh, anti-phishing code words. When you plug your device in, you'll see these two words every single time. If not, then you may be dealing with a malicious device. So you put in the prefix, so one, two, you see the two words, and then you put the rest of your pin three, four, five, six, or you could do one, two, three, four, five, six, however you want it. You'll see the two words and then you write your 24 words. And then you have the important warnings on this back of the sheet. And I'll read some of them because people are not familiar with private keys and what you do with them. It is like giving somebody all your financial information and you're allowing somebody to kind of wipe you out clean. So you want to make sure that nobody knows your private keys, sees your private keys, or you put them online. You wanna write them down or use a seed plate and you can get one uh, right over here as well. There are so many features with the cold card wallet. I literally spent all day like setting it up, playing around with it um, and all that great stuff. So let's get right into um, using the device. The device you can use by plugging it in as a normal hardware wallet and connecting to a few wallets like uh, Wasabi or uh, Electrum. The hardware wallet actually doesn't have a native um, you know, a native user interface that you can just start using. You can use it with other Bitcoin wallets and there's uh, advanced features which we're gonna go into. We're gonna go into one using the cold um, card wallet just on Electrum, um, just plugging it in, and then we're going to do um, the more advanced feature, um, which I can't wait to show you guys, which is the partially signed Bitcoin transactions. So your cold card actually never touches the web. Let's get right into it and stop talking. Um, you've written down your 24 words, you've made your pin code, and now you're ready to start transacting, receiving, and sending with your cold card wallet. Let's jump right into it. We're gonna be using the Wasabi wallet to use the cold card with. It's very easy, just like uh, other hardware wallets, you'll wanna just connect it. You can see that the cold card is actually uh, popped up. You wanna make sure that you're using the right cord because uh, sometimes it's not found with one of those flimsy uh, 7-Eleven cords. So we're just uh, importing the cold card wallet and you can see it's imported right there. And let's go ahead and start using the Bitcoin wallet. We'll send ourselves a transaction and then we'll send one out using the advanced functions. So we'll wait till that loads up, which may take a few seconds. So the wallet has synced with Wasabi. We can now start sending and receiving. So you can see that there is zero Bitcoin in the wallet above. Um, you can go to send. We have zero Bitcoin, of course, and then we can go to receive. So we have to put in a label to receive. So we'll just put test. We'll generate receive address. It'll automatically copy the address into your um, It'll copy it so you can paste it, but let's copy the, or show the QR code because I'm gonna be scanning this from my phone just to send the practice transaction. So we have some Bitcoin and then we can do the advanced function. So we'll go ahead, I'm going to scan this using my Exodus app and send myself some Bitcoin. So let's go ahead, scan, let's send um, everything we have there we go, send, and then whoop, Bitcoin should be here in a few seconds. I, okay, awesome, that was quick. So you can see the Bitcoins here. We got the um, received right below, I'm covering that. Now we can go to sending um, the actual cryptocurrency, the actual Bitcoin. So take note if you haven't already that this cold card wallet only holds Bitcoin. So 
you know, if you're trying to load your XRP or whatever, don't be surprised. So now we're going to do partially signed uh, transactions where if you do not want to connect your cold card to the um, internet or to a laptop or PC, whatever it may be, you can actually do these um, offline. So let's do them together. Uh, let's build this transaction. I'm going to send it back to actually, let's see what the main account is. Um, is saying we'll just send the Bitcoin there. So same thing, we're going to receive, I'm going to do a test that is going to generate receive address, it's going to copy the address right away. Let's go back to the cold card, we're going to send but build transaction in advanced. We're going to paste that just by clicking because I copied it. We're going to click test again. And then let's send the max transaction. Oh, we have to select the coins first. And what I love about this is you can see the fee. You can like move it. Uh, you can toggle it to whatever you want. Quick, uh, slow, cheap, fast, uh, expensive, whatever you want. So we're going to click all the coins. We're going to send it to our main account right here. We're going to build this transaction. And now you have the transaction here. We're going to export the transaction. And this is where it goes to the memory card. So save as where let's save it to the deck, the desktop. We're going to save that. I'm going to put that on my memory card. And then we are going to uh, do the transaction through uh, the cold card. And that doesn't even need to be set up to your laptop either. So let's get the transaction partially signed and then get it back onto the laptop. I have my cold card plugged in and you can see uh, where it says ready to sign. I've uploaded the file onto the memory card and into the cold card. So I'm going to click ready to sign and you can see um, okay to send. I'm sending the 0 0.00237952 to the main account. So let's confirm that. And you can notice the green light. Uh, if it's a red light, that means you may need to upgrade your firmware and or it may be tampered with. So you want to make sure that your light is on uh, genuine instead of caution. So we've got the transaction uh, TXID. Everything's good to go. So uh, we are going to now get that off the memory card, open the transaction broadcaster and then get that finished. Okay, now let's add the transaction, sign transaction to um, the transaction broadcaster. Let's import the transaction. We'll go to desktop, I have a lot of file, uh, have a lot of random files, so just bear with me. Let's upload that, broadcast the transaction, and then the transaction should clear, and I should get that cryptocurrency, I should get that Bitcoin. So just bear with me a second, and honestly, this blue, awesome. You can see right there that I got the cryptocurrency, uh, the Bitcoin, I don't know why I keep saying cryptocurrency, but I got the Bitcoin. Um, so this is honestly the coolest feature I've seen with hardware wallets. The cold card just blows my mind like all around. You, you, There's so many features. I'm going to definitely have to do a follow up on the cold card uh, with the extra features from passphrases to the duress pin and all that great stuff. This was just a quick tutorial on how to get started and how to use it because honestly the the tutorials on youtube are like 30 40 50 minute long uh so i just needed to put something out there that people can start you know following right away there's there's great ones out there too so uh make sure to subscribe like comment we have a ton of videos coming out a ton of events we're going to and giveaways that are upcoming so you don't want to miss out on anything